morning everybody <clears throat> today we're going to build a different of our project had a problem last week where I tore the fan up on my can am gen 1 i'm kind of jumping through things here but we're going to try to bring it up to speed uh we're going to be doing a radio relocate kit i'm going to be doing it a lot different than what a lot of people other people do <clears throat> um I bought mine through Wild Boar, and this is what it's going to look like right now. I've got it face down. I let the things cure for the dutiness here. These are uh, PVC 24 diode uh, blue LEDs. I got one of course one here on each side it's gonna shine down well bore and then the two is gonna shine across the front radiator radiator <clears throat> i'm being painting it right now shoot a couple coats of clear on it and it'll go up here and i'm trying to decide which way i want to route my ideals and uh Let's see how this goes. We're taking this apart. It is a bit of a pain in the ass. Take your tires off, jack it up off the ground, support it, safety first. Uh, the pieces did come off as the other videos. We get that section right there and this section right here. Held by the little tab of the bobbers. If you do have a winch, me personally, I'm not planning on using that plastic back inside, so I just cut the bottom of it with my shears. I just made a cut right there with those. This way I don't have to worry about unwinding the cable or anything like that. But in order to get that off, you do have to take out the two bolts right there as well. And then once you get things jerked out, you can pull it apart. Just watch yourself. You'll have a couple down here, then you'll have one that'll be way up yonder there to about midways screen um the radiator sits in the pedestal like an offset there's two holes right there which i uh, will be leaving that bracket because it's welded and that long hose right there is the, is the down is the downside of the radiator where the short one right here uh, it's going to be for the top. I haven't decided exactly which way I want to go yet, but we'll be showing you how it's going to go. I'm trying not to do any type of cutting or anything of that nature. And what I'm seeing so far is right here in this hole, I could run the lower radiator hose to here. The upper I may be able to do right here. So this should basically just be open. I still want access to this. It may look a little tacky, but I mean, fuck, dude. You have to pull it open and clean it out anyways when you go in the mud, so I am able to save myself the hassle. So, and this is a 2011 Can-Am Outlander 800R XTP. On 30s, no lift, and uh, also we'll be installing the new fan. I bought this from a place off of eBay for $89. It is the exact OEM drop-in. So that's what that looks like, and that'll bolt up to. Right there, right there. Let's see how that goes. So, any further ado, let me get the paint to cure, shoot a coat of clear on it, get it mounted up, and I'll show you how it'll look. And we'll go through the next stages with, with the way I'm going to install it. Again, I'm not trying to cut any holes in here, so. But still try to keep it nice and clean. I do have LEDs already from when I bought this that are underneath right here on both sides and underneath 
I'm gonna be adding about 16 more LEDs to this thing probably today. We'll just see how it goes. So here we go, everyone. See how she comes out. <laughs> 